welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another kind of review of the Ultra 21 Days of Beauty. So it is coming up and Trend Mood just posted what is going to be on sale. So I figured I'd go ahead and jump on it. I have seen some other ladies do this type of video as well. So if I see any good ones that I like, I'll try and remember to link those down in the description box for you as well. So originally I used to be a huge lover of the 21 Days of Beauty, but you know, I've been around for a little while here on YouTube now and I've definitely tried a lot of these products. So I thought maybe in preparation of this sale, I could help you guys potentially save some money by not buying some of this stuff because I have tried it and it's kind of crappy. And if I can save you guys some money, I feel like my goal in life has been met. So <laughs> without further blabbering, let's get into my video. Okay guys, so basically the 21 Days of Beauty starts March 15th and ends April 4th, so saddle up because uh, bye 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 money is what uh, Trend Mood likes to say. So on week one, which is March 15th through March 21, it says. I don't know guys, I'm just reading through here. Okay, so on March 15th, we have the Mario Badescu Vitamin C Super Peptide Serum. $22 on sale, regularly $45. I personally don't like Mario Badescu's skincare. I know some people swear by it. Some people love his sprays. I personally tried to pan all of them and get them out of here. Did not really love those. And then, of course, the beloved Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz is $11.50, usually uh, $23. And, yeah, looks like blowout first time steal 50% off regular. I don't know, something at the salon. I don't know, guys. Anyway, I know people love the Brow Wiz. I've personally never tried it. I have tried a lot of other ABH products, but I know it's a great time to stock up on the Brow Wiz. So if you're interested in trying it out, that might be your chance. On March 16th, Kopari Aluminum Free Deodorant, two ounces, is $7 to $9, usually $14 to $18. That could be kind of fun. I mean, if you're into that stuff. I tried the like drugstore aluminum free and I didn't feel like it kept the stink at bay so I had to just go back to my regular deodorant. Hopefully it doesn't kill me but who knows. So Lancome La Base Pro Face Primer is $21, regularly $42. Not a huge primer person so I don't have any feedback on that. On March 17th, Bare Minerals Mineral Veil will be $12.50 to $13.50, usually $25 to $75. I'm guessing that's a powder. I'm not really into bare minerals, so not really crazy about that. And then Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream, $44.50 instead of $89. I don't know who uses Elemis on YouTube. I haven't really done any research on it, so not going to have much opinion on that. March 18th, Estee Lauder Daywear Multi Protection Antioxidant 24 Hour Moisturizing Cream SPF 15, $17 instead of $34. Eh, you know, whatever. Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti Wrinkle Booster is $40 instead of $80. I think um, Juice Beauty is typically part of the 21 Days of Beauty, so. If you've always wanted to try them, personally, I feel like I'm good on my skincare, so passing on that. March 20, the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara is going to be half off, so it'll be $12.50. I do really like that mascara. Do you need to buy $12.50 mascara when drugstore mascaras exist? Probably not, but the way drugstore is going these days... It's not that far off. So if you wanted to try this mascara, now is the time. I know Annette's Make a Corner raves about this mascara, and that's what made me buy it. So I could see myself picking one of those up, to be honest, but I'm not really in a crazy rush to do that. So March 21st, we have a first-time steal, the Tula Skincare 24-7 Moisturizer Hydrating Day and Night Cream is $26, and the Tarte Shape Tape will be $13.50. That's pretty shocking. Like, Tarte Shape Tape is on 21 Days of Beauty. It must not be as big of a seller as it used to be. Or it is a big seller, like the Brow Wiz, and they're trying to give people a time to stock up on it, which makes you think of, like, how much the margin must be on 
concealer if they can afford to give it away for $13 instead of the regular price, which is nuts. So Tula, I have tried their cooling under eye balm thing. Some blogger convinced me to buy it. Low key regret that shit real hard. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I did, I did try it and I didn't think it was that great. So, um, there's more. I guess I didn't read this ad properly on March. Oh, I did read the Juice Beauty thing. Okay, on March 19th, select lashes. Um, doesn't really say from what brands, but could be Velour, for example, will be $13. That could be kind of fun because I hate paying like 30 bucks for lashes. That's ridiculous. And then there is a Shiseido Essential Energy Moisturizing Cream, $24. Clinique Acne Solution Clinical Clearing Gel will be $9 or $13.50 depending on the size you buy. None of that really sounds very exciting. On March 20th, same day as the Bad Girl Bang, Becca Ultimate Love Lipsticks and lip liners. I think I've heard that those lipsticks are pretty good, but I'm not buying lip products this year, so pass on that. And then Exuvian's Performance Peel, AP25, $39.50, usually $79, so that's crazy. And then on the 21st is the Tartan Tula stuff, so that is that. And then Weekly Hot Buys, so... There's a bunch of like weekly stuff that's on sale. They've got some It Cosmetics stuff, some Clarisonic stuff. Nothing I'm too pumped about. Week two starts March 22nd and ends March 28th. On the 22nd, they have a Too Faced bronzer. That'll be on sale for $15. Um, I think they have a few different shades. I'm not really into Too Faced bronzers, so I'm passing on that. And then Clarisonics, if you use a Clarisonic, it's a brush head two pack will be available for $22 or so usually about $44 I used to be big into my Clarisonic and then I think it started drying out my skin and I think my facialist told me to stop using it So I haven't reached back for it um, But I, I should I should pull the old girl out and see how I feel about it because I used to really enjoy using it March 23rd Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion will be $12 regularly 24 that is something you can typically find on sale pretty easily so if you are you know strapped for cash you don't need to rush and just buy it or if you already have one in rotation you don't need to just buy it to have a backup because i'm pretty sure you can find that for 12 dollars most times of the year and then mac lip pencils in shades whirl and soar and the prep and prime lip primer will be on sale for nine dollars and that's pretty cool if you like lip liners. I'm not really a lip liner person, so pretty easy for me to skip on that. March 24th, the Lime Crime Venus palettes will be on sale for $19. I recently picked up the Prelude palette, which is like the, a Venus style palette. I really like that. I thought the formula was good, but I didn't hear very good things about this one in the picture here, so... I'm not really drawn to picking that up, but if you guys have always wanted to try Lime Crime, maybe this is your chance. Skin Icelandic Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels, 4 count, 8 count, $8.75 or $16. And I think that's a little bit expensive because I just got the Good Molecules. Eye patches were like 18 bucks, I think, and you get 30, pa like 30 sets. So... If you're looking for some affordable eye patches, I would recommend those. And then Derma Doctor Kakudu C Serum is $47.50, usually $95. That's a lot of money. Holy moly. March 25th, Smashbox Photo Finish Oil and Shine Control Primer, $19.50, usually $39. I've never gotten into those Smashbox primers, the ones that come in the squeeze. The ones that come in the squeezy tube, so that's an easy pass for me. And then advanced body repair treatment from Crepe Erase. I don't even know how to say that. $39.50, usually $79. I've not heard of that brand, so I have no opinion on the situation. March 26th, Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner is $11. I know that's been in the 21 Days of Beauty many, many times, so... I think it's just a time for people to stock up. Ph Philosophy Purity Made Simple Moisturizer. I don't really like that, but I know a lot of people do. And then Sunday Riley has a Flash Fix Kit 
for $12.50, usually $25. I do like some of Sunday Riley's products, but I don't know what's included in that flash kit situation, so I have no inclination to check that out. March 27th, It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara will be $12, usually about $24 and also their eyeliner. I like the Superhero Mascara, but again, it's the same question with the Benefit Band Girl Bang Mascara. Like, it's like, do you want to spend $12 and get a high-end mascara, or do you want to stick to the drugstore? It just, it just depends on what your preferences are, or if you really love it, then it's a great time to stock up on it. And then the Foreo Luna Mini 2 is $59.50 instead of the regular $119. So, I've I've tried the Foreo. I think my husband bought me one for Christmas once and I didn't really love it so I ended up taking it back but something for you guys to consider and then March 28th is Kylie Cosmetics lip singles will be $7.50-$8.50 um, so looks like her lipsticks with li liquid lipsticks and all and that I think will be cool. I really like her lip gloss formula so if you want to pick it up might be the time. And then Mario Badescu Grab and Go Duo will be $11 instead of the regular $22. Um, again, not a huge fan of Mario Badescu, so can't really recommend that stuff. And then that week, the hot buys include the Kylie Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes. They'll be on sale for $29 to $45. And then their Lorac Pro palettes will be $27.30, usually sold for $39. And then the Stila. Full size mascara will be sixteen ten, or all Stila full size mascaras will be sixteen ten. I cannot believe how much I used to love Lorac eyeshadows, you guys. If you go back and look at my old videos, I promise you, you will see so much Lorac happening. And now I have like no inclination to try the brand, which is a little bit sad, but that's okay. I've moved on. I don't like how powdery their shadows are, but if you were a YouTube OG like back in the day, 2015, 2016, everyone was talking about the pro palettes. Like Lorac was big, so them they yeah, they haven't been able to I guess get back up in my opinion, but you never know, you never know. So week three, which is the final week, March 29th through April 4th, we have a bunch of goodies. Let's start off with March 29th. The It Brushes for Ulta are gonna be on sale, and powder foundation brushes, $12 to $20, usually $24 to $40, Dermalogica. Dynamic Skin Recovery SPF 50 will be $37.50. I tried one thing from Dermalogica because I was so curious about the brand and I didn't think too highly